Let's Play tutorial of Morrowind. Um, well, walkthrough, or tutorial. Um, not really going to be doing much walkthrough of the actual, um, maybe quests. Maybe I'll do specific ones, but, uh, you know, it's such an expansive game that you can't really just go through it like you can maybe a Nintendo game. Um, as far as modding goes, these are just my mods. I have mostly texture packs, and that's it. Um, I do have a house. Um, I'll avoid it, I guess. Um, well, nah. Um, it won't really affect gameplay that much. So I have Blood Moon and Tribunal as well. Um, I'll focus more on the main story and just general mechanics of the game. So we'll play. Um, this tutorial will be on character creation, primarily. Um, how to choose your race, um, your attributes that you might want, um, your birth sign, all that good stuff. Here we go. Cutscene, we'll skip. Next channel. Alright, so Argonian. I usually just don't pick them because of their appearance. I I'm just racist like that. But, um, resistance to disease, which you need to ignore, as in Morrowind, you'll eventually get a full resistance to common disease and um, some other diseases. Um, immune to poison, water breathing, typically the special abilities that happen once a day you ignore. Um, they're pretty useless later in the game. Breton. These guys are good. I like them. They have uh, bonus magicka, which, you know, that's alright. Resistance to all forms of magic of 50%. You'll often get a notification when you're, like, attacked with a spell. It'll be like, um, insert effect here, resisted. Um, shield, this just reduces damage. Um, this reduces magic damage, and this is just fire. Only fire, magic, or resistance. Ignore these, uh, skills, unless they're particularly difficult to level up. Um, examples would be, um, let's see, well, alchemy, um, I'll come up with another one in a minute, um, a higher magicka bonus, but weaknesses to different magicas, which really build up, and they're really bad later in the game, and again, ignore resistance to disease. Um, useless, both useless, um. They're one-time skills that you can use once a day, and it's just silly. They just have bonuses to some, you know, talking skills. Woo. Again, these are just crappy. You can see in the dark for 30 seconds. Great. Um, sneaking. That's a big one. That's good. That's one of the good things about them. Security and sneaking. Very difficult to level up at a low level. Immune to Frost, that's great. Immunities, that's great. Resistance to Shock, that's good. And another Shielding spell, which those are actually useful. Resistance to Magicka, that's, that's alright. Um, warrior type skill bonuses. Um, and Berserk. Which, you don't... It's not a very good skill, overall. Resistance to Disease, eh. Resistance to Poison, that... That's a type of damage. That'll help you, I guess. Um, in all the hours and like, days I've put into Morrowind, I've been killed by poison or even significantly damaged by it once. Um, this will be good for, you know, boosting your strength and how much you can hold for a short period of time to run to a shop or somewhere to store your items. Wood Elf. Good sneak bonus. Marksman. Um, those are good good things to have bonuses in if you're gonna, you know, do that sort of thing. The sneak is always useful at a high level. There's just common disease, ignore, and this is alright for low-level creatures. It, it, at a low level, whatever, you know. I'm gonna go with the Breton.
is my character of choice. Usually I'm either a Breton or a Wood. Alright. I always fill up the forms myself. These are, I've done these. These are just silly. They're like philosophical questions up here. And pick from class lists. They're always too specialized so that you don't have a chance to level up in other things. Um, you don't want to be specialized. That's the thing. Um, I always pick stealth. These just control what you receive faster leveling in. Um, particularly stealth things are usually the harder ones to level up. Magic, you can just repeatedly cast things, and since you're a Breton, you already get magic bonuses to cast rates, so um, you don't need that. Um, combat, these are just combat skills, you know? Um, find something low level and just swing at it repeatedly. Um, once you get higher agility, then um, that'll be easier to level up lower level things. Now, you always want to have endurance if you want to have a perfect, like a perfectly good um, character, I suppose. Um, now, either strength or intelligence here, because strength influences your starting life. And um, you want all the life you can get at later levels. Um, intelligence, that, you know, I don't know. I usually go with intelligence. I'm thinking maybe I'll go with strength this time. Um, or maybe agility. Nah. Block. For the purpose of not unintentionally leveling things, you don't want to have things like block, um, unarmored, um, or heavy armor for your special skills. Maybe not even light armor. Um, it's good to have, you know, like, let's pick a destruction, a good attacking thing. Armor, very difficult to level up. It's going to be very difficult for you to, um, level that up without training, which won't really help because you don't get the bonus, the proper bonuses for doing it that way. Um, what else? We could pick, um, short blade and have some speed in here. You don't want all your speed in here. Athletics. Like, look at this. Athletics and acrobatics are things you're going to be constantly using, and the things, the things you unintentionally level up, so you do not want them in there. Um, let's see. Something that's easy. Spear. Oh, I already had spear, so it switched. Um, I'll pick medium armor. Oh, no, I already had medium armor. Okay. Wow. Sneak. Sneak is very, very difficult to level up, but since I have all these bonuses to it, it should actually be cake. Um, heavy armor. You don't want that in there. That's a primary armor that you're going to want to use. Medium armor is crap, and it's just fodder for leveling up your endurance. Um, I'd pick long blade. I already had it there. This is getting annoying. Hand to hand. That's a very good skill to have to level up your speed. Now, we have some strength that's outside of there, correct? Really? It's not armor. Non armor strength skills. Come on. I want to remove one. Look, let's remove blunt. I'll get into why this is very important later on. It's very hard to explain right now and you can't see it. So, we'll take this and we'll switch it with um, something that's easy to level up. But, alright, um, let's go with Marksman. And Enchant, you don't want in there because a Breton has a bonus to chant. And you don't want things that have bonuses already for your class, for your race, I mean. You don't want those to be your major or minor skills if you want to reach the maximum level. Otherwise, it would just be impossible. Restoration. That's healing spells. And you don't, or it doesn't really matter what you name it because it won't carry over to other games. So it's really irrelevant. It'll just appear under your name. It'll say, Nix Recording, or whatever I name my character, Adventurer. Um, so we'll be done here.
signs are secondary bonuses, like, like your class bonuses. Um, like, see, if you take this, you just have a permanent bonus to attack, 10 points. Um, I don't know what that means, because um, there isn't a listed attack stat. So, that's an invisible bonus, I guess. This. These are spells, so it's kind of bad. Um, that's good, that's a spell. I don't know if it's repeatedly usable. Um, this is some helpful, I guess. It's not very helpful. Fortify speed. You run faster, that's good. That's always good. Um, invisibility for 60 seconds. You can't use this repeatedly. This is like a once a day thing. Um, another spell thing. These are all crap. You should be considered. This is more spell things. These are all crap. Since they're one time, they're kind of one time a day things. This is a permanent bonus. Um, there are greater bonuses for things, but they usually come where they are. Something else, like, um, actually. See, two times, not just an extra 50%. It's stunting magical. Um, 1.5 times weakness to magical. And this. This is fortified endurance 25 points and fortified personality 25 points. You want as much endurance early on as you can get. Um, so I usually, this is what I recommend. Oh, the lover, by the way. That's just fortified agility. That's good. Very good. Um, and, you know, a spell. I always go with the lady. Alright, and, you know, as long as that's correct, then just, okay. Now the stats, maybe. Right click to look at it. The first weapon, that's a note that doesn't do anything in the game at all, as far as I know. Some silverware, and you can sell this for some starving cash. Flynn, that sells good. For this early in the game. Get the, the lockpick, I'll teach you how to use that in a second. So it's not going to be a game, obviously. So right click to open up your inventory. Grab the lockpick, put it over your um, character. Right? And um, press F. At least on the default settings. To pull it out, walk up to your chest, you know, click on it. I failed. I failed. I succeeded. Uh, now we press space. And, you know, there's some gold in here. How much is that? Uh, oh. uh, 31, 31. It's hard to read because I have a texture pack that changes it to one. Um, hardly readable color. There's nothing in there. Um, now we go out into the open world almost. Now, very important. Take, go in here, and take this ring. Right? It's kind of a, it's just kind of a big thing. I don't know. Well, it's not a big thing. It's just you know, a good, very active magic. Since I'm a Breton, you know, I get um, and I chose major and minor skills. I get a major destruction spell, and you know, an alright, but pretty good for a low level healing spell. Um, I'll continue this walkthrough, um, but this is just, you know, the beginnings. So, uh, I can just go in here and talk to him, and I'll see you next time. Alright, peace.